how do you market on linkedin how do you market on instagram how do you market on twitter how do you market on facebook in short what we are asking is how do you market on social media today i'm going to be answering that question how do you really market on all these platforms because you find that each platform has their own way of marketing and there's some things that you really need to follow when you're marketing so that you don't find you're losing your customer or making you're making a lot of losses because you don't know how to market on social media hello guys welcome to Fistock talk Talk. this is a channel we talk about businesses we give you tips and insights on how to start run and manage your business and today it's all about social media marketing we are going to be talking about how to market on the social media platforms so that you find you don't find yourself making a lot of losses or maybe you're losing your customers because you are using the wrong marketing strategy or you're using the wrong the wrong way of marketing on social media i hope you will learn a thing or two let's get started so one of the ways you do what one of one of the things that you need to do when you, if you want to market on social media that is whether be it it is in twitter facebook linkedin instagram any social media one of the things that you need to do is set clear goals you need to know what is the goal that why am i really marketing what is my ultimate goal do you need brand awareness do you need lead generation do you need website traffic do you need sales you need to identify what do i really need what do i need to achieve before you start putting your money in facebook you really need to do to know what do i really need do i want people to know more about me do i want people to come to my website and check out the products or the services i'm selling do i need maybe to create a lead maybe potential customers maybe make them sign uh give a uh, sign up for a, for an app or maybe give them give reviews what do i need so you need to set clear goals then number two is choose the right platform when you're talking about social media you should understand that when it comes to facebook when it comes to youtube when it comes to instagram all these sites they have their different target audience and you find that the way the audience that is in instagram is not the same as the audience that is in facebook so you really need to choose the right platform if you may be dealing with clothes you will understand that maybe selling your clothes on instagram would be more favorable than selling your clothes on linkedin if you're a business maybe you have a consultation service you wouldn't understand that marketing on linkedin is more advantageous than marketing on instagram so because you find that these people they are bif- different people in different platforms and they have different goals so you find that if things like linkedin it's a more of a business like when it comes to instagram it's more of what is trending on the on the socials we find that it's more of lifestyle entertainment when it comes to to tiktok we find that it's more of entertainment the people want to go to tiktok to be entertained so you find that when you're marketing there you really need to know what type of content am i really what do i want and that is why we call for the first thing to know is what is your goal what is your what is your ultimate goal what do you really want the 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 advert or the the marketing strategy to to bring out then number three is you need to optimize profiles that is where you find that when we call for consistency in branding you when we're talking about the profile we're talking about your profile picture we're talking about your cover photo we're talking about your bio all these they really need to communicate it's you because you don't find that you're talking about maybe i deal in a, I, I sell clothes but my profile picture is a cartoon that is laughing you find that even my bio doesn't really describe my business so you find that when it comes to optimizing your profile you really need to optimize it in a good way that when someone run uh, runs or maybe lands in your page they will be able to understand this person needs with this this is their logo this is what they so you find that even whatever you're posting is really consistent to your bio so you find that if you're dealing with maybe your your akinyozio your bio your cover photo your profile photo and whatever you have been posting is really consistent you find that you're not really misleading people and then number four is constant content strategy where you find that it is good when you, when, you, when you want to market your business or social media always involve all the different forms of content that is we're talking about images videos we're talking about articles we're talking about blogs we're talking about images all this content you, you really need to understand which is which content is really performing better you find that maybe in some social media artic, uh, uh, articles perform better in some social in some social media platforms videos perform better maybe in in some others pictures perform better so you really need to understand which of my contents 
really uh, performs better and maximize on that but do not ignore the others because all the these flap all these articles all this quoted form they are very good in supporting whatever you're trying to market so do not say that i'll be using only videos and involve and you know things like posters you find that even that poster you'll be posting you should be posting posters once in a while so that you break that monotony but you really need to understand which form or which content really works for my social media platform or which content does my audience really like once you understand that you will be able to understand what you really want to present out your brand and then number four uh number five is posting schedule you find that most people they just post randomly but they do not understand that posting randomly can really confuse your customer or your audience if you if your best you really need to understand what is your best posting time and this you find that most social media apps they give you the best they are able to analyze your audience and they can be able to tell you your audience is actually active at this particular time of the day or particular time of the night and that is where you optimize you really need to understand when is my audience active and that you make that to be your posting time do not be posting at 3 a.m and you find that no one is really active at that time so you find that your content will just have maybe two views or three views so those are the five ways to on how you can market your business whether it's a small business whether that whether it's a large business those that is those are some of the ways that you can actually market your business and get, get a lot of profits and many people don't know this but and many people ignore this but you find that these are very very crucial when it comes to marketing on social media i hope you have learned a thing or two if you have learned something leave in the comment section and i'll be sure to read it out make sure at the end of this video you like you comment subscribe share and hit on the notification button so that every time I upload a new video you can be notified and if you're interested in learning more about marketing whether it's basics in marketing certificate in marketing you can enroll at Winstock university college this is an online college that offers short courses diplomas certificate degrees at a very affordable rate visit their website at www.finstockuniversity.com or you can even call them at 0703-313-722 or send them an email 